What's up? What's up, everybody? Uh, so, yeah, I am playing uh, a Four Color Lands deck. I played this last time on stream uh, against Chris, and I absolutely mucked him. <laughs> you also played it against me last time, and you got the uh, yeah. Fast Bond Zurin Orb Crucible on turn two. Uh, yeah. Uh, flashing red if it's muted. So you are currently muted, both on uh, Streamlabs and. Oh, I unmuted that. Oh, nice. Yes. So uh, today I'm playing Cradle Hoof. For those of you who don't know, um, I if you've seen Wes play Elves before, it's very similar to that deck, um, but um, it's it's much more like mid range. But it's essentially like Elvish Dorks. You're good. Uh, natural order for for Crater Hoof. All that good stuff. I roll. Eleven. I will take the play. Um, this hand is... Uh, is this hand good on the draw? I don't think this hand is good on the draw. So. I think this hand is, like, okay, but, like... I am going to pitch and take another... So um, I think I'm okay to try this actually. I wanna I wanna play a lot more of this deck, so I wanna see how hands like this pan out. So I played this deck last week. Um, yes. Last week it had different points. Yes. Um, it had birthing pot in it, uh, and it had nine points. So I took birthing pot out and I put in the strip mine, and I took out academy rector because before I was uh, hoping to like pod academy rector into. Titania Need for Speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the flashy Titania Need for Speed combo. Yes. And win the game. And Very I scary. don't think I should necessarily be doing that. Anymore. Yes. I am I am short one point. Uh, my points right now are Survival of the Fittest, Natural Order, uh, Crop Rotation. What was that? What was that? Eight points. Uh, and one other thing. That yeah. I'm sure I will remember as we play. Uh -oh. oh, strip mine. I'm also on strip mine. Cool. Yeah. So that that brings me. That's nine points, and um, I was gonna run Summoner's Pact, but I just I forgot to put it in, so we're on nine points. Uh, I am going to bottom. Yep. This card and we shall begin. All right. So I will begin with a very basic forest, and I will play a Quirion Ranger, and I will pass the turn. Uh, Fluted Delta. I'm yes. Going to uh, do you want to draw your card? Yeah. Too excited for my yes. turn one yes. play, which is Fluted Delta, uh, getting a Bayou, playing an Exploration, and playing oh boy. Urza Saga. I see. And then I will pass the turn. All right. So I will untap. Uh, I will draw. I will play yet another Basic Forest. And I am going to play Scavenging Ooze. That seems good. Not bad. And uh, I will give you the poking. Mm -hmm. uh, pick one. Uh, and then it's going to be your turn when you're ready. Oh, I should get a uh, life counter. Uh, actually, uh, Thomas, is my phone over there? Can you just run that over to me? Uh, I will pass uh, back to 
damage, so I took one damage, so it's my turn, right? Yes, yes, because I, I just played the scavenging ooze and then passed, so it's your your turn. Uh, all right, so untap. Yes. One. Uh, this goes to two. Yeah, after you draw. After I draw, which I did draw. Uh, and then I'm going to play... A land? Yeah, let's play a land. Oh, I did not see this coming. Um, probably just gonna hold up Rosa Saga. I think that's fine right now. Yep. Oh, that's it? Yep. Yep, okay. So, untap. I will draw. Hey, Wes. Uh, can you, uh, in my backpack, uh, can you, there's a box, uh, Planeswalker box. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. What's up, Spazzy Wanker? <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm just seeing what I want to do here. <laughs> um, I'm going to play a Thespian stage. Um, I would like to play a Paradise Druid. Um, yeah, I'll go to combat. I'll attack for two. Yeah, I'll attack for three. I take two. Sure. Go to 16. Yep. Uh, pass the turn. love for me to be able to select the start button in this container now. My phone is so small that it actually I cannot select the start button down here. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. The, ba the backup plan of attacking my opponent with one and two power creatures is in full <laughs> effect. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, definitely do the Rosa Saga thing. Do the thing, yep. Uh, get one construct, untap, upkeep. Yep. Uh, draw for turn. Get, uh, tap this. Make another dude. Make another dude. Uh, then this goes to three, and I sacrifice it as a saga. We're yep. going to look for an artifact. I'm just going to go for a... Zuran Orb in play. The Zorb. Uh, and then I am going to play a Godless Shrine. Yes. Untap. Ooh. Uh, I lose two life. Yep. Uh, and then I will go to attack you with a 3-3 three, three construct. I will take three. Uh, go ahead. Uh, end of your turn, I would like to eat your polluted delta. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm going to pass on. I will go get a basic land into play tapped. He never saw it coming. <laughs> Sucks because you're getting pretty close to just like raw casting some very dangerous spells. Right some now. biggins.
I do. Uh, which, which, who are you asking? We both play Dark Depths. Yes, we, we both play Dark Depths. All right, so I will untap. I will. He's probably playing many, yeah. many a crop rotation. I will draw. And a Gaius Grimm. Are you playing Gaius Grimm? I am. Nice. Um, I am going to play a natural order, sacrificing my Korean Ranger. So I am going to get a Dragon Lord of Tarka, <laughs> and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that kills them both. Yep. Very good. Uh, then I am going to play a Jiraga Tree Speaker, mm -hmm. and I'll pass the turn. Yes. Uh, draw. Let's. Okay. So that kind of sucked. Uh, I have to do something a lot different now. I'm going to demonic tutor. Yep. I'm gonna find a source of splash <laughs> and I'm gonna use said source splash arrows. To get rid of the big scary dragon? Because that big scary dragon will just kill me. Alright. Uh, I go to 25. I do uh, not I do not search for anything. That is correct. And unfortunately that is pretty much my turn. I'm gonna play a land for my hand. Yes. The land shall be uh, the city of traders. Ah, I see. Uh, and then you're up. So I'll untap, I will draw. That's interesting. Very interesting. All right. Unfortunately, uh, very on the back foot. Uh, I would like to level up my Draga Tree Speaker. Yep. It, can, it is now a soul ring. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, uh, I'm going to use it. I'm going to play a Garuk Relentless. Yeah, you got yeah. it. Um, do I want to fight my own tree speaker so I can? No, I definitely do not. Uh, so I'm just gonna use this to start making wolves. Wolves are good. Yep. So make a two-two, and then I will. Yeah, I'll go to combat for two. Yep. Uh, yep. I will pass the turn. That is Garuk Relentless. So it is a four mana Planeswalker. Um, when it has two or fewer loyalty counters on it, I transform it um, into Garuk the Veil Cursed. Uh, it has a zero ability where it essentially, where Garuk himself fights something. So he deals three damage to something, which is his starting loyalty. And then the, uh, the creature deals its power to Garuk. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for the other zero ability, it is a two, two wolf. Uh, so I am going to thought something. All right, uh, I have a tireless tracker and a Titania. <laughs> Both those suck. Yes, uh, very, some. I will take the Titania though. All right, so Titania is in the graveyard. That is very much the worst card for me. Uh, and then I am going to. Uh, I'm going to cast this regrowth. Okay. Turning a target card from my graveyard to my hand. I'm going to return Urza Saga. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Urza Saga. Okay. If this trigger goes on the stack, may I sacrifice it to Zoran Lord? Uh, I would need to see the errata. I believe it is a trigger. So, but like worst case scenario, you can sacrifice it to Zoran Orb, then play the Urza yeah, Saga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Life. Yep. Uh, and I have a Urza Saga in play. Yep. And then I will pass turn. All right. So untap. I am going to draw. Um, I'm going to make my Thespian stage a copy of your Urza Saga. <laughs> Fair. And then I'm going to Reclamation Sage and destroy your Urza Saga. <laughs> I am uh, sacrifice it. 
Zerinorb. Yeah, yeah, to, to Zerinorb, yeah. I'm pretty much dead here. Uh, I'm gonna wolf. make I'm gonna make another wolf. Good job, Doug. Uh, yeah, that wasn't bad. Uh, and then I'll go to combat and attack for four. Take four. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Already, what do I need? I need something better than that, unfortunately. Um, anything dies to Garrick, I think. Yes, anything dies to Garrick. Hmm. How much damage does uh, Garrick do? Three. Three, and then the creature does three back? Correct. It, it, is, a, it is a fight. Yes. Go ahead. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. I get a counter on my Urza Saga. Hmm. Um, Garrett's still in play, yeah? Yep. Oh, yeah. Just uh, maybe put it under here. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I guess I'll go to combat. I will attack with these. Yep. So for eight. How much damage? Eight is damage? eight damage. I take eight damage. All right. Uh, I will play my own tireless tracker. I'm going to make another wolf. Who let the dogs out? Well, <laughs> yes. Uh, then I am going to cast a Devoted Druid. Yep. Uh, and I will pass the turn. Alrighty. See if I can pull anything out of this. I don't think I can. Uh, we're going to play this untapped. Yes. Slow down to two. Make a clue. Sacrifice yes. said clue. Yep. Drawn some cards. Draw a card. Uh, that is too little too late. Uh, I'm going to play this Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. And then I think I'm going to scoop. All right. Because you just got more damage than I can do anything about. Yep. Crucible of Worlds might have done something, but not you need You probably needed a, a turn or two to really get the value going, though. Yeah. No, that Reclamation Sage was basically the backbreaker. So. Yep. Could not come back from that. It was me spazzing. Yeah, so it was the elf yeah, boy me. <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone was, was curious about the interaction there, but the reason why I copied his Urza Saga with Thespian Stage is because if it gets the second counter and then I change Thespian Stage to a different land, mm -hmm. it keeps the ability to make constructs. That's pretty good. Because of the uh, because the ability to make constructs is tied to the the, the, per the permanent from yeah. it getting the counter when it's a saga. Yeah. So when, it, it, when I change it back to another land, it's not getting counters anymore, and it's no longer a saga. So then, uh, but, it, but it retains that ability from being a saga. Yeah. So I can just you, get to... Can you do that in response to the third trigger? Or does it have I, to I think so, I, I think you have to do it with the trigger on the stack before... No, because it's only after the stack is clear once the third ability resolves. So yeah, so you can... Uh, when the third ability goes on the stack, you can turn it into another land. And then with it not being a saga anymore, it doesn't sacrifice. I believe I believe is the way it works. But you can still find a card. That's pretty good. I, I think so. I, I don't have many in this deck to get, but I just wanted to Oh yeah, just to swag on me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Just uh <laughs> You're good. This is interesting. I would have to agree, but I will keep. Um, I think I'll also keep it as well. Uh, okay, I'm first. I'm yes. going to. Uh, is there like a reset yeah. thing on here? 
As much as I'd love to start the game at 25. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start with a polluted delta. Yes. I am going to sack it. Yes. <coughs> I've seen it. Wait a minute. I've seen this before. I'm going to get a, a bayou, and I'm going to play a Sensei's Divining Tongue. Ooh. Beyblade. Will there be anything else after that, my friend? Uh, that would you like to draw a card? That is all good. No, <laughs> okay. I would not like to draw a card. All right, untap and draw. Uh, I'm going to play Yield Basic Forest, and it's going to be a pass of the turn after that, actually. Pass a roo. Yes. Uh, I think I'm going to look at the top of T. You're going to top to the top? Top to top. Tippity top, top of the T. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> um, I want this. Disclaimer, we are not sponsored in any way by Decepticon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to get this card. Yep. Uh, actually. Hmm. Wes, elves are doing it. I could high roll this. I could high roll this a little bit more, but I don't think I want to. I am just going to get uh, this card to top. Yes. I am going to draw this card. <gasps> you lost me. And then I am going to put a, a Virgin Catacomb uh, into play, and I am going to pass the turn. All right, I will draw. I would like to play another forest. Yep. I would like to play Rofalos, Lanor Emissary. That's pretty good. So, you, uh, some of you may know how powerful this card is since it is banned from Commander. Not so in Highlander, not even a point. No, Rofalos. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to search. Yep. I'm going to shuffle. Yep. And then I am going to top. Yep. No. Oh, way, 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 way too slow. And most players like play creature decks, so you would buy a rhythm and then just probably die. Yeah. <laughs> Man. I to be unbanned as commander. Uh, you hear that, commander? Come in the unbanned by rhythm. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Make my own special choice. Yeah. Like, why? Why not next time we play like no bandless commander and see how that goes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I want. Savannah. Unana. My heart is in Savannah. You need to stop. Would you like to cut? I would not. Okay. I fully believe you put the exact three cards you need on the top of your oh, library. Oh, well, let's see. Yep. Uh, those are okay cards. to stack it like this. Yep. Uh, and we're on my end step right now, right? Yep. yep. So I got your yep. draw. I think I'm going to draw again. Yep. Oh no. Uh, Stop. I am going to play a Lotus Cobra. Okay. Lotus Cobra. The snake. And then I am going to play uh, Windswept Heath. Yes. I'm going to crack said Windswept Heath. All right. Landstorm is at one. So you're working with three mana here after you get this next land, right? Yes. Yeah. Very powerful interaction. Worried about you getting like a million elves like next turn though. That might. I guess we're about to, to find out what what's 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 about to what's, happen. What's cooking? What's going down? Uh, it's fine. Red source. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, so I have three mana, and then I am going to tap this to play a Crucible of Worlds and pass it. I see. All right. Go ahead. Still very powerful. I will draw a card. Okay. So I am going to... Two mana. I am going to play a Biophagus. Okay. That is not an elf. It is <laughs> not an elf. However, I will then play this Sylvan Scrying. Wait, how many mana did you generate with Rock Lord? Two. Two, why? Because adds for each forest, and I have two forests. For each forest? I thought it yes. was an elf. No, that's uh, Elvish Arc Druid. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Sylvan Scrying. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go get Ye Old Gaia's Cradle. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. Uh, I will play it as my land for the turn. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use it to produce not one, but two, two green mana. mana. Powerful. And um, I will use that to cast a Survival of the Fittest. That's also a really good card. Very good card. Cool. All right, I will pass the turn. Uh, don't have a top anymore, so I can't... Uh, sculpt my draw, but yep. that is not a bad draw. Uh-oh. I'm in danger. Um, uh, I don't even know if I want to play this card, because there is a card that I could play that is also very strong. Uh, we are going to... Um, we're gonna tame a pact. Ooh. I think that's yep. what we're gonna do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think right now we're gonna tame a pact. Okay. Um, so, no, I don't want that. No goose. No, I don't want that. Ooh. The Zorb. Uh, no, I don't want that. That's a very good card. It is not bad. Um... Let's be greedy. Ooh, We're gonna be greedy. Pass on the strip mine, eh? Use some cards. I'm just going for it. Are we going for fast bond? Straight for fast bond. Jesus. There it is. There it That's is. a lot of cards left in my deck. That's yep. very good. Yep. Uh, so I am going to cast said fast one. Okay. So you, you can't quite get like every land in your deck because you don't have a way to to negate the life. But um, land for turn. Yep. Uh, Lotus Cobra. Yep. Trigger. Yep. Sack this. We have search. one mana on Lotus Cobra. Uh, I'm going to get this Taiga. Yes. Uh, it yeah. doesn't matter. It's all going to be green right now, okay. uh, and I'll show you why it doesn't matter in a second. Uh, so I have two, yep, yep. two mana, uh, course of Perfect. Oof, yep. Okay, so now you have infinite mana. Now I have infinite mana, yep. and I basically have well, infinite top deck skull. Well, every time you fetch, you still lose a life. Correct. Or no, you net e no, you still you still net even. Right. Yeah. It's still not technically infinite because once he runs out of fetchables, he he will take the damage. Right. So. so you got the four horsemen at that point. You have the double fine land. Level. Yeah. So you actually have to do this one at a time. Okay. <laughs> so this is a non-deterministic combo, which I hate. Yep. Um, but that is how it is. Uh, we're going to put all three of these into play. Yep. Um, so I gain three life. Uh, I am going to search once. Yep. 
uh, lose uh, life. No, you, so you don't gain the life because Fast Bond's dealing the damage right. to you as well. Right. So I gain, uh, yeah. So then I... It's not infinite. Yeah, and I, I can disrupt this next turn with my survival of the fittest, so he has to try and kill me this turn. Mm -hmm. So I have three... Uh, no, I don't have it in my hand. I need to, uh, there's one... So, there's so you can all, so you can also check the top of your library every time you, oh, but you exiled Dark Depths too, so... Uh, I'm looking for, like, a canopy land. Yeah. And then I could draw my deck. That's, that's true. Uh, so I am going to... So, so you do have to do this one at a time, yeah. I do have to do this one at a time, correct. And it... It's imperative that I, because that you, like you said, you could disrupt yeah. me next turn. Yeah. So, so you're you're going for the kill right now. Uh, that's a city of traders. Oh, and st and strip mine's gone, so he can't uh, just strip me out of the existence. Yeah. Are you still gonna play every land you see? Like he pretty much has to. I have yeah. To. Do you want to hand it all? Uh, it, do you care about outside advice? No, no, I don't. The city of traders is a land by playing an artifact land and then swap them back in. Right, but how do I kill them? Oh, you're still not, you're not there yet. I'm not yeah. there not yet. Not that yet, but you have a lot of mana now. I a have lot, a lot of, of course. Mana. Well, and once he runs out of fetchables, he he starts taking actual damage on his courser. Yeah. 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 Uh, so let's search again. Um, I'm so far net, so I'm just going to keep myself at 16. For yeah. Now. Until. So I don't know if there was a better thing for me to taint a pack into, or if I just yeah. stop. At well, it was, it was also not bad because you didn't go through that many cards. Yeah. But if like, if this pile was like maybe like doubled, or you hit like your canopy lands or whatever, maybe it gets a little bit harder. Um, oh yeah. So I'm gonna play this Urborg. Yep. Um, yeah, and as Rick said, right now I have infinite mana and infinite color, uh, colored mana with... Uh, Not quite, actually, because it's out of mana. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah. You get a wasteland, you get infinite mana. Yeah, but, but it's, uh, essentially you have, like, a boatload of mana, so essentially anything you can do, yeah. you can... I can do it. Top yeah, card. exactly. Top card. That's a good card. Unfortunately, I can't get it into play. Uh, so we're going to shuffle that away. Yep. Dave, do you have a wasteland in your deck? I do have a wasteland in my deck. I'm not. I'm not. No, I have. I have two basics in play. But yeah. if he if he finds a wasteland, it's just like non determined Like it's still infinite mana. Yeah. But uh, well, that's like solidly infinite mana. But he would still need to present a way to kill me, which he can't do until he finds a, a horizon land off the top of his deck. Yes. So we're we're essentially playing this until he finds a horizon land off the top of his deck, or I disrupt this that somehow. Also does infinite mana. Yeah. And extra, that, that's life too. Yeah, that, that's infinite life as and well. So at that at that point, I would concede, but we we'd have to. He does have to do this one at a time. I am one by one uh, taking every uh, searchable land, yeah. fetchable land out of my deck. So for those, so while Dave just kind of goes through this, um, essentially what's happening is for those of you who don't know Fast Bond. Um, he can make any number of land drops he wants, and he's playing lands from his graveyard using Crucible Worlds. Uh, however, with Fast Bond, whenever you make a land drop that's not your first land for the turn, um, you take a damage. However, Course of Crew Fix, whenever a land comes into play under your control, you gain a life. Mm -hmm. So it's negating his, the damage he's taking from Fast Bond. So uh, it's also negating the, da he, the life he's paying from his fetch lands. Excuse me. <laughs> So, but essentially, one, so, but however, at the moment, Dave doesn't have uh, a way to kill me with all this mana he's generating. However, if he comes across one of the lands he, um, That's not bad. It's, it's still not. It's not bad. You would, I would, you'd still play it, because it, it doesn't hurt anything. Yeah. It doesn't gain life, but it, uh... Because oh, uh, yeah. oh, you're still right, taking yeah. the damage still off Fastbond. Fast so bond. essentially what he's doing is once he finds one of the lands, like Horizon Canopy, Nurturing Peatland, are you on like all of them, like Sunbaked Canyon too? Uh, 
yes. Yeah. So once he finds one of the lands that ping him for damage, but he can pay one and sacrifice to draw a card, that is going to be infinite. Uh, that's going to also be him drawing um, all the cards in his deck as well. And at that point, I would I would concede. This is a this because because then this would be a nightmare to get in the tournament. Yes. <laughs> Notably, he can pay for the canopy lands with the Stygia Betrayers, which will then die from a canopy. Yes. Yeah, canopy, yeah, so exactly. So yeah, so when he plays the canopy lands, his City of Traders would die, and then he can just replay the City of Traders, and it, it's just a, a never-ending loop. So at that point, I would concede, but at the hey, moment, he does not. Are you just playing the new card that makes everything a basic? No. Okay. That card's too slow for, for yeah. Hanlander, because it's like a 4-mana 3-3, three, three, I think? 3-4. Three four, yep. So it, it's good in some situations, but oh, yeah. it's uh Does it affect the lands in your deck? Yeah, it does. So you would be so able everything to would be better. So he would be able to fetch if he had that card, but aside from literally being in the middle of a fast spawn combo, that card doesn't have a lot of like it's also like if you want play against Blood Moon, but um One more white green. Yep. Uh this is two, I got the first one. Yeah. Also, yeah, I, I kind of like. It's imperative that I try and go for this because Nathan could. Yeah, because so I can essentially disrupt this on his next turn, mm -hmm. uh, because he knows from the survival of the fittest, and you guys saw the reclamation sage in the last yeah. game. So I can hit either his fast bond or his crucible of worlds or his courser of crucifix with that, um, and that's not to mention like anything else I would be able to tutor for with the survival as well. And Gaius Cradle, like Nathan yeah. has a very powerful board. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking for. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, I, but essentially, the reason I'm not conceding, which is, well, I guess, what we should go over, is once he runs out of cards to get with the fetch lands, mm -hmm. he will start taking damage off of the fast bond. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, you do not gain a life. Yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we get, we went over this. <laughs> That's a good card, but I have to shuffle yes. it away. Dave, uh, thinking we're playing Judge's Tower, trying to keep track of him gaining life and then taking damage from fast spawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get this forest. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to bother. Like, if this was a tournament setting, I would be putting City of Traders back into play. I no, yeah, I, exactly. Well, the most you can, uh, well, you would be able to say, hey, I'd like to demonstrate like a, a non-definite loop that whenever I play a land, just assume I played like City of Traders. Right. You can just explain that every time you play a land, like assume I'm getting a mana from Lotus Cobra and two mana from City of mm -hmm. Traders. <sighs> Loam. Life, life from Loam would be great as well. Yep. Um... So that's going back. Um, I don't actually know what's left in my deck. I know there's a swamp, so I'm going to go run and grab that swamp. Yeah, so it, it would probably be good at this point to check what uh, fetchables are left in your deck, too. Because then you only have 15 more tries at it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually do that. Okay. At that point, um, like, yeah, I could essentially just shuffle 15 times yeah. and try and get the top of my library to be the thing that I yeah. want it to be. Um, well, I also don't know what you have in your hand, too. Like, if you just have, like, a Savine's Reclamation, I would need to probably get... Even, like, Disrupting Everything. Well, I'd, like, I'll still try and disrupt it on the next turn. Yes. That is correct, yeah. So, um... So it's two triggers, one from Fast Bond, one from Courser. Um, so if Dave was at one life, for example, um, what he can't do in that situation is use a fetch land. But if he was at one and he p just plays a land from his hand, uh, he could stack the trigger so that he would gain the life from Courser first and then take the damage from Fast Bond. Okay, that is all the fetchable lands out of my deck. Okay. So would you like to continue doing this any number of times by just shuffling the top of your deck? Uh, we'll get to there. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, let's let's see what we get here. Mm. That's a world of Yeah. Okay. Um. So now that we're out of fetchables, you could just say, like, how many... You could just say, let's just do it. Yeah, pay do it. a life. Pay a life, shuffle your shuffle. library, and then... Yeah. All right. So what's happening now, and the reason I didn't concede, was because Dave is now out of lands to get with his fetch lands. So he doesn't have any of the land types that uh, you would need uh, to go get. 
So now, since no land is entering the battlefield, Corsair is not gaining him life anymore. So he has to actually pay life now in order to... Um, in order to shuffle his deck. Would you like to cut any of these times? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. I'm not doing that to myself. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, do you want to just like close? Do you want me to just close my eyes and you can just show sure. the stream? Here's what's in my hand. Yeah. Okay. None my of my eyes are closed. Win me the game. Can I read the colorless one? Sure. Ah, I see. Emrakul the Aeon's torn. <laughs> well, let's see. What will? Uh, it's three lands. Thank you. Yes. All right, we're good? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. That's a Titania. Titania, yeah. Uh, no dice. Nope. Uh, we'll do it one, we'll do it another time. I mean, this is still not great for me. <laughs> However, Dark Depths and Strip Mine were exiled with his Tainted Pact, so yeah. I don't have to worry about... I just have to worry about me playing the... <laughs> How many prize lands are there? Um, there pile? should be three. No, in the pile they got exiled, anything? No. So all of his Horizon lands are in there. Like, I'm not putting on a lot of pressure right now. So it's it's up to you if you want to try and... I think I'm done. You're done? Uh, searching. Okay. So I am so going we, to So you have metric boatload of mana. Yeah, I'm going to play Perennial Behemoth. I see. Uh... Um, which All right, so I cannot disrupt the Crucible of Worlds. Yeah, but he can't do anything. With I can't it. do anything. With it. Plus, um, yeah, I, yeah I, I understand. I have always had a whole bunch of mana. Infinite yeah. Mana. yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, so, I need draw. Yeah. Which was. Oh, you can still reveal the top card of your deck here. I can still reveal the top card of my deck. Uh, I knew what that was. And it there at reveal. Yes. Uh, go ahead. All right. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We're back at the Krispy Kreme. Yeah, yes. Well, <laughs> welcome back uh, from that commercial break. We, uh, we had some technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. um, so untap, uh, upkeep. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. I am going to draw. I mean, it's good, but I don't think it's going to do much for me here. Okay. So, what do I think? I want to do it like this. So I'm going to activate Survival of the Fittest. Yeah. I'm going to pitch this Tireless Provisioner. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna start with the easy one, and I'm gonna go get a wreck. Um, also, you know what I'm drawing next turn. Yeah. So I want to get a Reclamation Sage here. Yeah. So I don't want to play anything that's like too. Like on the board impactful because it just gets <laughs> next turn so so I will get the reclamation sage mm -hmm. so the question is now is do I hit the fast bond or the courser so hitting the courser you probably have I already see the reanimate so there's probably more ways for you to get the courser out of the yard than the fast bond um, but is there anything else I could get that would, because I would do that, then that. Okay, so let's do this to start. So that's two mana and then one mana. I will play the Sage. I will hit the Fast Bond. Fast Bond does. Yes. Um, so that's three mana now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I can do that. Um, so I can... One, two, three, fetch. That leaves me with three mana. I think that still does it. Okay, I'm going to activate Survival of the Fittest. Yep. With, so that's for three green. I'm using one of that green, so I'm left with two. Okay. I'm going to discard this Magus of the Order. I'm going to go get Moloch. Interesting. <laughs> I am I am so happy that there's like many Warhammer 40k cards yes. in this deck. Okay. 
So I am going to use Biophagus to um, to add a red mana to my mana, mana pool. Okay. I'll use one of the green and then the other green. So Moloch for one. So it's going to enter with one plus one counter and then an additional one from Biophagus. Okay. So I'm going to have it fight your Courser and then the Courser exiles. Exiles, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> that is true. I wonder what mysteries he will have on his next draw step. Uh, but I think for the moment that is all I can do, which was not bad. Mm -hmm. So I will pass the turn. Uh, okay. We, uh, we, we have some things to do. <laughs> What's up? Would you like to I want the I want the path of exile. It's a good card. Cool, cool. And his saga gets bigger. Yeah, I get a saga. And this is a game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, do we still have any counters? Yeah, yeah. Lotus, Lotus Cobra currently does not have. A I have an abundance of, of mana. mana. I <laughs> which is uh, good for me. Not yes. Not uh, absolutely terrible. Uh, these, which is interesting. Um, I think we're going to play a little bit aggressively. All right. I am going to animate dead that Magus of the Order. Hey! Well, that comes into play with the animate on it. Right, yep. Yep. Yes. Um, uh, just to clear things up, if I... Caspian Stage, Urza Saga... It, it has zero counters on it to start, but it'll... It, stays as a copy until you activate the copy ability again. Right. So on your next turn, it'll get one counter, and on the following turn, it'll get and two. And if it has two, and you make it a forest again, the forest has the ability of Urza's Right. Saga. That is correct. Yeah, we, we talked about that last game, because I, I thespian staged his Urza Saga. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I should have done that last turn, is what I should have done. Yeah. Uh, I will... That's fine. If you if you want to just have it at, like, end step, you can... There we go. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 okay. it's fine. I was unaware, I, I was a little bit... Much like Goku, I wish to defeat you when you're at your strongest. Okay. Uh, I think I'm good to pass through. J just straight up passing? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to untap. Uh, I'm going to draw. I'm more worried about what he gets. I mean, it's not a bad one. It is a Kessig Wolf Run as my land for the turn. Okay. Uh, so... Uh... I guess I do die to Crater Hoof. Uh, uh, four mana. I'm going to cast a Garuk Wild Speaker. Okay. So that is going to come in with three counters on it. Mm -hmm. Um. I just want to figure out what I'm doing in regards to the path to exile you have because it's I know path to exile and you have one other card in your hand currently yeah okay okay um I am going to activate survival of the fittest discarding this questing beast okay What, oh, what can I get as the world is my oyster? Uh, hmm. That might not be the worst thing. That goes to my hand. So Crater Hoof gives my board plus five. You're at 13. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 23, 24. And then the Hoof probably gets passed. Or no, you do it in response, so it's only plus four. So I don't actually think that's what I want to do. Could do that. That might not be the worst thing. It's so weird. Can you play Nightgorilla, probably. 
that gorilla shaman? That might not actually be bad here. I am going to get Undermountain Adventurer. What is that? I'm glad you asked, Dave. Does it get the initiative? It gets the initiative. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so, uh, well, first, I'm going to start. So this is in my hand right now. Right. I'm going to cast Ren and Six. Okay. I'm going to minus Ren and Six to deal one damage to your Lotus Cobra. Lotus Cobra dies. Yes. Uh, I'm going to tick up Grook to untap my Gaia's Cradle and a Forest. Okay. I'm going to tap the Gaia's Cradle for four mana and cast Under Mountain Adventurer. Okay. I introduce the, the initiative. Mm -hmm. And I venture into the Undercity where I take the secret entrance mm -hmm. and search my deck for a basic land card. Which will be a forest. Um, and then after that, I will pass the turn. This is very tough. Yeah, because I played Kessig for the turn. I'm going to get a construct. Yeah, and a turn, yep. Untap. Uh, let's draw for turn. Yep. Um, I might as well make another construct. Yep. So it's a 4-4 four four now, currently, with the ability to become a 5-5. Five five. Oh, and then you, you fetch. Okay, so it's going to be a 5-5. Five five. <laughs> So uh, my Magus doesn't work anymore. That is correct. Because you, for Magus, um, it's like Natural Order where you have to sacrifice another creature, but it, the creature has to be green. Yeah. And now I have a bit of a pickle. <laughs> How so? I think you're doing pretty good. Well, I'm it, definitely not bad, but um, I still I, I'm gonna have this army of constructs. I'm gonna have to slog my way through, mm -hmm. and I will have to do it before I uh, before you get to a point where you can start trying to contest the uh, the initiative. Yeah, I think I have to take the slow game uh, honestly, which sucks. But expedition map, I'm gonna get an expedition map. Yep. What? Sensei's top. Uh, no, at this point, like he's killed a lot of my acceleration. Well, you could hit a green creature, is what I'm saying. I could hit a green creature, but I could also not hit a green creature. Well, but yeah, that's kind of the. the with thing. this, I can get wasteland and kill his guy's cradle. Sure. Mm -hmm. With my Ren and Six oh, in play. Oh yeah, yeah, you got Ren and Six in play. Yeah. Um. No, oh, that sucks too. Do you want to stop? Uh, no, I've already done that. Well, what do I have? I have three attacking creatures. Um, I have three attacking creatures, and he wants to block all of them, really, realistically. Um, Reclamation save, Rapalos, and... Uh, yeah, let me reconsider the yeah, yeah. Exp the map line real quick, but that might still be the line I'm getting. I think, however, Rick might be correct in that, that it doesn't work anymore with Ren and Six on the battlefield. Okay. Uh, well, you can try and pressure my Ren and Six like first, I guess before deciding what you want to get with map and see if I just let you take the Renin Six. But that that's like... We're playing, yeah. that's hands down. I, yeah. I'm gonna do this. Okay. I think that's fine. Sensei's Divining Top. We still have a Crucible also, so you can fetch double. Yeah. You can look at a lot of cards is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is much better for sure. Um, would you like to cut? No, I'm good. Okay, I am going to top. <laughs> 
Yep. That is very good. Mm -hmm. Still, it's still like really annoyingly close. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's just like I'm off by like being able to draw more than one card. Yep. Um, because no matter what, I have to search and I have to get rid of my set face behind the top. Uh, so we're going to. Uh, no, sure. th no thanks. Oh, uh, sure. Okay. You could pay one and then respond to it by putting it on top. What do you mean? If you have an, if it's in, in, if you're looking, if it's the current house is instant, you could technically draw no, the card not. before the spin happens. Okay. Um, and this is good because I'm trying to run this deck in a tournament and I need to learn. The yeah, game. you need to learn the ins and outs. Yeah, no, take your time, dude. I'm just here with a bunch of. Uh, <laughs> Forest hippies and uh, some guy who lives under a mountain. So so maybe this is a good time to just like discuss these lines. Yeah, sure. Um, these are the top of my deck. Uh, I would almost always like probably take the tutor, right? Well, well I could Luris Fast Bond. I guess that's true. So like I could play Luris Fast Bond. I could Demonic Tutor get... Uh, but then you're still in like the same position, right? right? Yeah, so... Is it Turnwit in your deck? Uh, Ewit is not in my deck. I... I kind I kind of like the demonic tutor because at this point like you can pressure like my my board with the demonic tutor too. I'm not sure what removal you're on, mm. but like you you can go get a green creature to to do this or just whatever have, you would tutor. Yeah. Okay. So you can. <laughs> so this is this is the this is the main. Uh, yeah. So right it's now. it's basically you're weighing against what you're getting from this, mm -hmm. uh, or the demonic tutor. Right. Well, so you have, so you have a better ETB of a green creature in your deck still. I have Corvold and yeah, because if you go get like Titania or Corvold got exiled to this. Oh, Corvold got exiled, but Gitrog yeah. didn't. Yeah, Gor uh, Gitrog did not. I'd, yeah. I'd say if if I was to choose between a Noble Hierarch and a Gitrog before you sack it to the main, I'd give it to Gitrog. Right. Because that's how you draw more than one card. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but it's still not not guaranteed. Uh, but I think that's actually. Pretty good. So yeah, because it, it's it's basically whatever you would tutor with the with this versus the um, no, versus to, what you're tutoring from the demonic tutor. Yeah, well, he, he has to shuffle either way. Yeah, yeah, it's the same diff. Yeah, so he has to draw with the top. And this yeah. way, I lose. I use less mana. Yeah. Sure. I am going to uh, Magus. Yep. Noble Hierarch. Uh, that's my Magus. Uh, that's Magus. <laughs> this goes into the graveyard. Shuffle these cards away. Yep. Uh, I still haven't played a land yet this turn, so that's good. So I am going to get the Gitrog monster. Yep. Because this might just uh, put me into a land. All right, well... We're back to non-deterministic. Non non-deterministic <laughs> combos. Gotta love them. Yep. You gotta hate them. All right. So I have a polluted delta in play. I am going yep. to immediately a sack polluted delta. Yeah. Uh, fail to fail to find. Fail to search. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Uh, draw a card. Yeah. So, so you you would normally do it. You would draw before you you search, but that, that's fine. If if you're okay. With no, it. yeah, it's fine. We don't we don't know the position of any cards in your deck, so mm -hmm. it's all good. Um, I get to play an additional land per turn. Yeah. So you and you have not played any lands yet. So I am going to uh, replay yeah. this polluted delta. Uh, why yeah. do I lose a life? Oh, because oh, you you paid to to, to fetch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am going to do it again. Yeah. Draw another card. Yes. 
And now you have one more land drop. One barring. more land drop. Yes. I am going to play a Valakut Exploration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying it. We're trying yeah, to Yeah, we're, we're, he's trying. Uh, Scalding Tarn from yep. my hand. I am going to reveal this card off the top. That is an Assassin's Trophy. Yes. Uh, I am going to um, blow up my own land with Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to win here. Not the survival? I'm trying to win. Okay. I am, trying to win. I am win. very, I am win. very close win. to winning. Yeah. Uh, all my lands tap for black because I have yeah. a board. Uh, this actually changed a lot when you drew that perennial behemoth because if you didn't draw that, I probably would have hit the crucible as opposed to your fast mm. bond. Alas, um, I am going to assassin's trophy, uh, destroy target permanent. An opponent controls. Yeah. Never mind. Hit me. Well, he, he he can do it. He could cast it until the end of turn. Yeah. That's the thing. So I am going to sacrifice Scalding Turn. Draw a card. Draw a card. Oh man, did not get there. Would you like to assassinate something? Um. Yeah, I ought to assassinate. Probably the Thelos, or probably, probably. He has oh, Path yeah. to Exile, that's, that's all I know. Exile. Yeah. Um, oh, that's true. He has, no, that doesn't work either. Uh, we're going to, uh, yeah, uh, kill Survival of the Fittest. Sure. So that goes in your graveyard now, right? That is yeah. in my graveyard. Hmm. And then I think I am also going to uh, preemptively path to exile the fellows. Sure. If you, if I so. It, it's a 3-4 with Vigilance, and um, when it enters the battlefield, take the initiative. Mm -hmm. And then I can add two green mana, and if I've completed a dungeon, I add six green mana instead. Okay. I'm also going to play this Burst of Paradise. Okay. Uh, and... Uh, I, think that's, I think that's it. Um, yeah. Unfortunate. Right. I didn't get... There's many cards I could have drawn that would have got that trainer rolling, but... Yeah, go ahead. My turn? Okay, so untap. I'm just deciding what I want to do with the initiative here. Um, so these are, the contracts are four fours right now, right? And you have the, the mana to make them five fives, essentially? Yep. For the most part, stopped a very real threat to. This is a two seven as well. Yeah. Um. Okay. Go now. At ten. I'm just curious. Any deck. I guess I have that too. So close. Um, That's how I feel. Yeah. I think I have to be aggressive here. So I'm going to go to the forge and I'm going to put two plus one counters on my Undermountain Adventurer. Okay. Uh, move to draw step. Okay. So I will draw a card. I will play this Nurturing Peatland. Does have a fight ability? Does not, but he has an overrun ability. <laughs> okay. And he can use that right now. That is correct. Um, it's actually interesting here. If 
Okay. Quite a bit of toughness, though. Okay. So I am I am going to overrun Garug. Sure. So all my creatures get plus three, plus three, and gain trample. Okay. I am going to go to combat. All right. Uh, I'm going to make another contract. Sure. With this Thespian stage that is an Urza Saga. Yes. Uh, I don't have another uh, construct token, so I'm going to use this here. Uh, assume that these are all five five. All right. Go ahead. I will attack with these three. Okay. So you have. So Wolf run. seven seven. Yeah. Uh, eight, nine, and a five, four. And you have how much mana available? You have one. One, two, three, four. Uh, so one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen mana. Thirteen mana. I think I just die. Cause I can double block. You have to double block everything. Everything. Yeah, and but 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 the one you double block with the birds, I can. Wolf run to, to lethal. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, I am dead. Yep. I'm Fort. Oh, Ugh. Jesus. <laughs>